Welcome to Doc's Off Topic. So, this is going to be the story of how Elliot came into my possession and how much work I had to go into and how many trials and tribulations there were in getting Elliot to this stage. Not quite ready to run. Electrics need to be done. Uh, the dovetail sides of the ram still need to be scraped in. I've just put it together like this for the moment, just for the tidiness. And because I will be on secondment for a few weeks, um, starting very, very soon, so there won't be much more progress made for a while. So the easiest way to keep everything neat and tidy was put it together. I could slide the ram out when I need to and um, do the scraping when I need to, because I'm going to fit it to this rail, to the, the gib rail, and to the machined rail on the other side, which have all been recently milled. Um, so, without further ado, let's get through all of the stills, because there's going to be an inordinate amount of stills, a few little short iPhone videos along the way, um, maybe some snippets for some past videos. So, I hope you enjoy um, and come along for the journey. So this is when I was picking up the shape originally two years ago, and it is almost exactly two years to the day since I picked the shape up. It was in a million pieces um, and was quite the load to take home. Um, probably should have done it in two trips, but I managed it in one. Um, and so got it home and then it was the huge job of unloading everything. Um, Single-handed, I didn't have the option of um, a forklift as, I, as it was used for loading it, um, which actually made it quite easy to load, a little more difficult to unload. Um, but I did the best I could. Um, nothing was dropped and what was too heavy to move with the hoist or the little trolley I went Egyptian on it and used rollers um, so once it was all under the house it took up a hell of a lot of space um, uh, got a little bit better once I started putting a few things together just to take up less space give me a bit more working room um, uh, brought a large granite um, to use for shape for scraping. Uh, much scraping had to be done to get those gouges out. Along the way, there was six foot of water over it. Um, we had some major flooding, and was not a pleasant experience. Um, ended up locating a, a nice vice to use for it. Very heavy Russian piece of kit. Um, for comparison, that's a three inch uh, mill vise sitting in it. Um, it was missing the hand crank, so I ended up forging one in the, in the blacksmith's workshop. Um, tapered gibs are not as much fun as they sound. Um, and this is moving it to the new workshop. Um, and arriving at the new workshop, there was a period where it was actually out in the weather under a tarp, but still got quite a bit of dew on it. And then we begin cleaning it. Made some washers if I want to bolt it down. At this point, I'm undecided, um, but they'll take 16 mil bolts, which I'll plan to chem set if I need to. Um, a lot of scraping to get rid of all that paint. Um, and... I don't know how much solvent I used to, to degrease it, but so far the paint seems to have stuck quite well. Um, it was a big job, um, stripping it and painting it, uh, but it's done. And um, as you'll see, it actually looks really quite good. Uh, top coat going on. First coat done. Um, looks pretty good. I was tempted to leave it as that, um, but thanks to um, Jack, um, I ended up doing two coats and everything actually got two coats. 
Um, and along the way, I discovered the original paint job was a, a slightly lighter shade of grey uh, with lettering um, in a high contrast colour. Uh, clapper box and top slide, tool slide, and there you can see the contrast. Uh, it's a scarlet, it looks quite good. Had to make up some new parts for the machine. The old yoke was worn out. Bit of a trial fit up, um, just to see how things are. Ooh. Um, and yeah, so I fitted the, the cross slide, scraped back all the paint off the table. For some reason, somebody painted the working surfaces, got the tapered gib to finally fit. Um, so given that we haven't got electrics, all the belts hooked up to the motor or anything, I'm going to crank it like this and you guys get to watch the ram do its thing. There's no workpiece on the table, so the clapper isn't going to do any clapping, but um, suffice to say, it moves freely. So, slow-ish forwards, and as with all of these machines, it's got a rapid return. Um, probably got a bit too much oil on the ways, but Seeing as I won't be doing much with this for a few weeks, it's probably going to be okay. Um, so, there we go. Um, the Traverse for the table works. Ah, shouldn't have done this. So the yoke oscillates, um, and this will give you an idea of why it works the way it does. So on the forward stroke, it's at the top, which is a longer distance because it's further up the yoke. So further from the actual pivot point down the bottom. And then as it traverses down, it still has to do half a circle, but you'll notice it's much, much closer to the pivot point, which is down here. And that's why it gets a rapid traverse, because it effectively has a shorter arc to travel. So, in this configuration, as it turns, it moves the table away from the viewer view. Um, so, as it um, goes back, it ratchets, it moves the table across. And then as it goes forwards and does the stroke, it, the ratchet mechanism ratchets across, getting ready for the next run. Advance. So at this point, I've got it set for three um, tabs. Um, as you can see, it's quite an effective little mechanism. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave off. And much like my pro my profile picture, pretty much standing in the same location. Come a long way. Um, so if you've enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to keep this channel growing. It's tiny, it's just starting out. Um, but yes, get out to your shop, work on a project. Um, but above all, stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.